Indeed. Hi, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. So, <clears throat> well, the biggest difference you can spot is there's someone else with us. No, it's the light bouncing off of Henry's head. The there's always light bouncing off my head. That's the, deep, <laughs> the problem with having such a shiny head. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jennifer. Jennifer's going to be joining us from now on. Hello, YouTube. We'll talk quite louder than that. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, you're all deaf. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So, season two. Welcome. Um, a few changes. We're so happy. We're so happy. Uh, <laughs> we have a new theme tune, which you will hear in a moment. <laughs> we have a new presenter. We're going to have uh, some new cards as well. Mm. But that's it. That's... Have you got anything to say uh, before we start? Jennifer, give us a cartoon from your childhood you liked, or a kid's show you liked, and a kid's show you dislike. Um, uh, well... One I dislike, I mean profoundly dislike, is um, uh, My Little Pony oh. with Care Bears. Yeah, fair enough. These are good choices. Mm -hmm. And what was um, your favourite? My favourite, um, one that I really, really enjoy. I don't know, there's so many, I can't really choose. Definitely. <laughs> You've put her on the spot now. <laughs> uh, Count Duckula. That's a good one. Good Count Dracula is, is an awesome. That's an a oh, Danger Mouse. Mm. I can always sit down and watch those still now, even though I've watched them all a million times. Mm. I think the more important question is, what's your opinion on Nightmare? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it's a it's a fun little show. It's the wrong. <laughs> no, one. that was the wrong question, Henry. <laughs> the most important the most important question to ask a new presenter who's going to appear on Serial Viewing is, do you hate Wurzel Gummidge? <laughs> So, no, no, yes. Do you hate Wurzel Gummidge or do you really hate Wurzel Gummidge? You see, I don't hate Wurzel Gummidge. Oh, right, well, thanks for joining us. That's the end of season two. <laughs> season three, rapping. <laughs> season three, it's just back to me and Jay. <laughs> no, I really like John, uh, John Pertwee. Oh, yeah. You we can like enjoy John Pertwee. John Pertwee. Yeah. Just yeah. not Wurzel Gummidge because Wurzel Gummidge Sally. was awful. Aunt Sally. And Aunt is Sally a bitch. is worse. <laughs> it's not. Well, it's not that bad. There are. There are definitely worse out there. Well, well, there's us. <laughs> I mean, I could <laughs> sit in. I would sit and watch Where's the Gummidge if it came on the TV. I wouldn't bother Oof. change it over. You would have to rivet my feet to the floor to make me watch it again. <laughs> I mean, there are others that I would just turn over. Mm. So, um, yeah, That's true. That there bad. are others. There so are others. on the website, I have put up a a table listing uh, how we've rated each episode. Um, Wurzel Gummidge, after 12 episodes, Wurzel Gummidge is at number 12 <laughs> with a whole a whopping score of 1.5. Mm. Yeah, but that's just based on you two weirdos. Yes, but well, that's why you're here, to provide some balance. Yeah, because mm, I balance. think your second, uh, one of your favourite shows is Terror Hawks, or was. Yeah. Is Which is at 11th place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, I don't, I don't get that. Terror Hawks <laughs> is awesome. 3.5, it did not. We've said this before, it might just be the episode we watched, but it did not stand up. Mm. Uh, you, but you have to you have to look at it with the the cheese craptacular seventies <laughs> and eighties eyes. Mm. Uh, okay. SOS, Mister Tracy. It's <laughs> <laughs> no um, rescue. Oh, everybody likes a little dance number in the middle of it. <laughs> Unrelated dance number. Yeah, completely random and out of place. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so uh, we're ready. Are you ready? I'm oh, fine. Okay, uh, what we're going to do for the intro? Are we just going to nod our heads like it's playing and then go straight into it? Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah? Okay. <laughs> Wait, no, hang on. I was going to play the, the length of it. Um, can you not... Can we not what? Can you not just put it on? Yeah. But mute it so you can see how well, it goes. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Just put it on. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So you're going to... Oh. But I need to see it, Jay. No, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I do. I'm oh, gonna... yeah. Well, you put it on. <laughs> that's what I'm doing. <laughs> Season two, back with the professionalism. Hotbed of professionalism. That is serial viewing. Uh, what was it called? Chuck Ch Norris, Ch Karate Commandos, Deadly Dolphins. That's true. That's so bad. What episode number was it? <laughs> One. One? Oh. Yeah. Right, hang on. I'm just getting it. Uh, oh. <laughs> Let's mute that. <laughs> it's not time yet. It's not time yet. Right, okay. Okay, you ready? 
Welcome to Serial Viewing, season three, season three, season two, it's only been two seasons, I've already forgotten. Uh, this week we are watching Chuck Norris Karate Commandos, uh, which came out in 1986, ran for five episodes, it was a single series, it was only a short run, each episode was roughly 20 minutes long. Uh, Chuck Norris Karate Commandos is about an operative for the United States government who has a team consisting of Pepper, a technological genius, Kimo, a samurai warrior, Reed, his apprentice, Tabe, a sumo wrestler, and too much their young ward. Together they foil the plans of the claw and his right hand man, the super ninja. Uh, in this episode, uh, season one, episode one, Deadly Dolphin, uh, Angelfish kidnaps Dr. Sanford, the architect behind the creation of Sea Lab, so that the claw can infiltrate it and control the world's oceans. It is up to Chuck Norris and his team of karate commandos to stop them. Joining me as always is Jeremy. Woo, season two. Hello, Jeremy. That was it. I'm um, done now. <laughs> there's someone else on the couch with us, isn't there? Yeah. Hello, yes. So we have a third member of the team who's going to join us for the foreseeable future. Hello, Jennifer. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Why are you here? <laughs> um, long story short, uh, I kept listening to you two, and you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. So you're here to provide a little bit of balance to our very opinions. swayed opinions. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's yes. <laughs> so this uh, this episode uh, chuck norris is i chose this one this was one of my picks because it looked amazing <laughs> and i wasn't disappointed um have either of you ever heard of this show before um i no <laughs> i've heard of chuck norris <laughs> i do vaguely remember it i didn't when we it was mentioned right but having watched it now I do vaguely remember it being on the TV at some point in the late 80s, early 90s. I don't remember this one, but as soon as I saw the name, we had to watch it. <laughs> <laughs> there was no choice. Straight we out of the to, gate. Yeah, we had to watch it. <laughs> so let's jump right in. The, the theme tune. What was your opinions on the theme tune? <laughs> I don't really remember it, if I'm honest. Oh, my God. How many times can you say Chuck Norris? Chuck Norris is in Chuck Apart Norris Karate Commando. <laughs> we, well, I, well, I had to go back and watch it uh, twice just to count how many times that he said Chuck Norris is Chuck Norris. No, I wrote down, please stop saying Chuck Norris, please. <laughs> <laughs> nine times. The yeah. opening credits are about 30, 40 seconds long and they say his name nine times. Also, those uh, graphics though, that show Chuck Norris's face in the cartoon universe. Oh, looked- yeah. Fantastic! It was like the um, the evil mirror from Snow White with Chuck Norris, <laughs> doing, Chuck Norris doing karate, karate in it. <laughs> now this is the first um, instance or the first example we've had of a bit of live action before you got into the actual show. So there was Chuck Norris in his red pajamas, karate chopping his way around the gym, mm. and then he has a little chat to the camera before they actually go into the show. <laughs> it was amazing. It was fantastic, and I wrote down straight away. Why does Chuck Norris sound like Bob Ross? Because <laughs> you've been watching too much Bob Ross. No, yeah, <laughs> no, because he's so calm and at peace and at balance with himself. Uh, what martial art is it that Chuck Norris does? Is karate, it karate? It's it karate. karate. Yeah, I think yeah. he, okay, okay. he does mixed martial arts. He does mix martial arts, but I think karate was mm-hmm. his main jam. Well, the whole thing with him at the beginning and then him at the end, <clears throat> it was very much like a mixed martial arts lesson. Yeah. The sensei he always has like, all right, today our motivational speech today and our lesson is going to be on this and our goal. And at the end, well, we learned this goal. Mm. I don't... And then how to apply it to real world. I appreciate the technical expertise he must have. 
because he is a black belt in several martial arts and he's obviously very good at it. I just can't take him seriously. No. <laughs> he's, he's almost become a caricature of himself. Mm-hmm. Well, in this cartoon, yeah, it, t- it kind of undermined all of that skill that is in the martial yes. arts that he had learned and made it into a cheesy, crappy cartoon. That Well, yeah, while we're talking about that... How- the fight scenes, because there were a couple of karate chopping fight scenes in here. What were your opinions on the on the fights? Ooh. Well, there's a couple of them I'd, I'd written down as the martial arts always beats guns, even yes. laser ones. Yeah, yeah, yep. even lasers. They're faster than light. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they were stormtrooper shooting though. They, oh. they had some Star Star Wars bad guy aim going on there. <laughs> oh yep. yeah, yes, Any- that's something else I mentioned as well. Anything as a weapon, no, anywhere, anything, <laughs> anytime, any place. Mm-hmm. Well, I put it down in my. In my notes, that the um, the fight scenes were remarkably boring. Yes, they're really mm-hmm. slow. Yeah, because <laughs> the karate they're all they're all moving quite slow, and even when the bad guys pull out some weird metal weapon thing that's a funny color and twirl it around, it's still not. They're obviously not in any danger. <laughs> if they can't hit you with a gun, they're not going to hit you with a bit of metal on the end of a chain. <laughs> no, and even though so the the fight scenes, so even though you you've got. Um, well, you, that was so. We're going back to the theme song, yeah. You have a checklist oh, yeah. of sidekicks. <laughs> you've got the chick. You've got the apprentice. You've got a sumo. You've oh, got a yeah. samurai warrior, and you've got the annoying kid. We need to talk about him, all right? Because oh. too too much is his name. Yes, mm-hmm. oh, I only realised that after watching the theme what, song. What what on earth possessed them? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, were they trying to go for the cool kid? Well, I can Friendly. figure his short round from Indiana Jones, but yes, yeah. that is in my notes. <laughs> so not even, not even as good, because <laughs> like they tried to. Oh, the, the, why, like, oh, I even wrote down that there's just like casual racism creeping in everywhere. Because, <laughs> like... well, yeah, because the, the biggest one is that all of the bad guys are Asian. Uh, yeah. Or British. Or British, obviously, because British people we're always the bad guys. So they're, they're, so they're yeah. all the henchmen were Asian yeah. of some sort and then all the bad guys that were in charge were British mm-hmm. so Angelfish she was British yeah. Claw mm. he's had a British accent Super Ninja <clears throat> Super Ninja was a Scottish Japanese guy Super was Ninja he? had the most fabulous hair his accent <laughs> if you listen to it it was the strangest oh, accent ever he did have fabulous hair uh, he was definitely a uh, sort of Timothy the something. way he was wearing so he's got this it looks like a full body purple suit on mm. But his hair's at the top, so when he's getting ready, he's got this hole at the top <laughs> just just for his hair. It's very strange. He's like, "No, I, I'm going to fight. I'm going to fight my ninja enemies, but whew, I must look good doing it." <laughs> mm. there so, was a, yeah, there was a surprising amount of villains as well for this. And they were episode. all rubbish. Yeah, they were all so bad. I mean, Angel Fish is why? How is she a super villain? I mean, that's a, I, all right, that's a bad name to start and with. Ha, yeah, oh, with that name alone, how is she a villain? Do you think she, they let her pick it herself? Welcome oh, yeah. to uh, The Claw, the evil organisation. Uh, we need a we need a bad guy name. What would you want to be? Uh, can I be uh, the Manta? No, that one's already gone. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Shark? No, no, sorry. So she goes down the longest. Can I, be, I, I don't know, bloody angelfish. Yes, there you go, there, angelfish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anglefish so, would have been better. I didn't... So she was on... The fairly cool submarine she had. With uh, there was another bad guy yeah. standing with her, who's you know, the big hulking guy who was wearing his uh, mask wrong with his nose poking over the top. I think that was just her her head henchman, evil psychic Bane man. guy. <laughs> so we we get introduced to the submarine, and the camera pans across, and you've got all generic henchmen, and they've got uh, you <clears> know <throat> the generic henchman boiler suits on and caps and everything, and they're sat at their computer terminals tapping away, and then it pans around, and you've got angelfish in that purple get up 60s get up 60s get up yeah. and then you've got the bloke standing next to her who's got like bandages around him and he's got his weird pants and a funny mask on and, and there's a, can you imagine going to work <laughs> <laughs> just clocking yeah. in morning Jeff oh they're wearing that again <laughs> <laughs> oh the superheroes must be here yeah <laughs> yeah but all um, all the, her evil henchmen they remind me is it the foot from yeah. uh, yes ninjas, the foot the foot clan from Ninja Turtles ninjas. but worse but worse, but worse. <laughs> yeah and not ninjas yeah I mean, they sucked bad. They were bad. <laughs> so I imagine that, like, they, uh, the Mitchell and uh, Webb sketch that they did, like, are we the baddies? Are we the, but we've got a skull on us. <laughs> <laughs> no, why are we working for these people? <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to kidnap dolphins. <laughs> oh, moustache count. Mm-hmm. 
Chuck Norris has got the mustache that beats everyone else's up. <laughs> yeah, I wrote that down. I wrote, I wrote Chuck Norris is on the mustache. Because Chuck had one, and then the Claw had one. Did he? Yeah, he had a Fu Manchu thing going. Oh, yeah, on. yeah. Uh, I think that was that was it for the mustache. I think well, Chuck, I, Chuck was manly. It was a manly, manly, ma- mustache. manly mustache. He was just manly. He was a chunky. He was walking around without a shirt on most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Completely unnecessary. Just subterfuge. <laughs> what should I wear? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I shall get my nipples out. That will confuse them. Mm. Hopefully it's not cold. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, yeah, too much was annoying, mm-hmm. and they invade a uh, sea lab. Yes. The bad guys get into sea lab. Using an MRI scanner. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> oh, don't. I've written that down. Yeah. Right, so I've put the gill masks. I could I could push that, the technology for that. Yeah, kill girls. But then using a CAT scanner. <laughs> it, and the CAT scanner Red tells is... them not, it's the map of how to get in. Let's scan his brain. Yeah. It'll be in there somewhere. Brilliant. We're going with that, really. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was it. The good guys invade Sea Lab to, to get it back. And they take a, what, 12 year old with them? Yeah. Why was he there? <laughs> Yeah. Why has the state not stepped in and taken this child away from them? Mm-hmm. Kid gets caught again. Yeah. <laughs> gets them all caught. For fuck's sake, why is he there? <laughs> yeah. So the rest of the team is Pepper, mm-hmm. uh, the token female. Yeah. Yeah, but she's supposed to be smart. She's like the science. She's a technological genius, but I didn't see any no, evidence of that whatsoever. But she, yeah, she was just kind of there. She had a few lines and that was she it. She drove the car and everything because none of the mm. others could drive the car or yeah, the boat. That's true. She did drive. She's the driver. Mm-hmm. Uh, Kimo, a samurai warrior. Yeah. Yeah. Who was also just kind of there. No, no he had a couple of he had a couple of um, scenes when they were on the boat because they went in separate yeah. with the kid and um, not I got, Pepper. I got the impression he's a little apprentice. bit of an asshole. Who's the apprentice? He was moody and only spoke in proverbs. Yeah, because he he's a stereotypical a samurai, samurai yeah. <laughs> Japanese samurai. Um, but the guy that does his voice is one of my favourite actors, so <clears throat> you can't say anything bad about him. Who was it? So it was um, his name's Robert. Uh, what's his name? Oh, I can't remember what his last name. But anyway, he is in Quincy M.E. He was really oh, he? famous. <laughs> he did loads of stuff in the fifties, sixties, and seventies. Wow. I did not know that. Who did the voice of Angelfish? Because she sounds really familiar. She did not sound like someone like Glenn Close or something. <laughs> <laughs> don't think it was Glenn Close. I looked, no, I, I looked I it up. I couldn't it find it anywhere. But it was, yeah, it sounded really familiar. Like a really prolific, like, so slightly elderly woman. I felt that Kimo, <laughs> as a samurai warrior there, was there to lend a bit of authenticity to Chuck Norris's karate chopping yeah. ways. I'm it's so good, man. I've got a samurai working for me. Mm-hmm. Uh, Reed, his teenage apprentice, who was there. He was there in this episode? He was there in this episode. <laughs> he was just kind of hanging around in the background. Uh, mm. And then Tabe, mm-hmm. a sumo warrior. Mm-hmm. The, who, the dumb, big comedic. Yeah, he was there for comedy value. And, oh, look, he loves food. Oh, he's going to steal the food from the bad guy's kitchen because, you know, he's fat. Mm-hmm. Hilarious. He was also a little bit stupid because he's fat. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He was slow because he was fat, but yeah. he was a kick-ass sumo wrestler who wore purple pants. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> now we've spoken about stereotypes extensively, extend several times. <laughs> yeah. But just yeah, they are a quick way for to keep for kids to key into onto the I characters. Get it. But really, it's how racism is born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there wasn't. So as a show, mm-hmm. there wasn't anything special about this was there there was nothing that stood out it was just a generic apart from chuck norris apart from chuck norris <laughs> in chuck norris Comanche commando but that's something i wanted to talk about was the fact that this that i know chuck norris more for being chuck norris than i do as a mixed martial artist oh, like bruce lee or hell even jackie chan <laughs> probably for your for the younger generation chuck norris is only famous for being chuck yeah norris. and i wonder if this show had anything to do with that like no. this kind of like it, it contributed to to like the reason why he's just Chuck Norris and that whole Chuck Norris is God. <laughs> there was only five episodes, I think. Is there? Yeah. Yep, there was only I five. I think it just died in obscurity. It was, li- it was literally, how, how long was it on for? It was five episodes, would be five weeks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, actually, you say that um, one of the writers, now I don't have a 
genuine source, but I did find this. One of the writers has claimed that the show was actually scheduled for a 65 episode run. Oof. Mm. And that happened on a Friday at a big meeting. They were, they were commissioned. And then by Monday, the following Monday, it had been cancelled. Oh. <laughs> because <laughs> I don't know if someone watched it. <laughs> what happened there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Issues with Chuck Norris or... Well, this was a Chuck Norris driven project. This was his idea. He's, the, he's one of the executive producers. He pushed it through. Mm. Uh, it was um, published by a company called Ruby Spears. Mm-hmm. Um, they they put it out there. But yeah, it was. this is all Chuck Norris's idea. So he saw those opening credits where they said Chuck Norris nine times. Mm. And he signed off on that. Mm. Well, yeah, it's his name. But they... So this wasn't done by Hanna-Barbera? Nope. Because <laughs> the animation was... Well, it was crap. But um, the actual facial stuff definitely lended itself to See, I thought that. It reminded me a little bit of Scooby-Doo. The actual animation, mm. the movement and all that was fine. Oh, I, I The drawing so. itself, yeah. what they were animating, was really generic, bland colours. Yeah, the colours were really off. Yeah, they, it was very strange. It, it was very seemed, sun-bleached. It just seemed like a typical 80s cartoon to me. Oh, it no, was, I mean... There wasn't... Watching Transformers last week, the colours in that, like, okay, the animation, quite a lot of the scenes was off, but they were very colourful. They had distinct colours. Like, with this, it seemed... Like, even, like, Angel Fish was wearing brown. Chuck Norris wasn't... was Well, was skin tones, but wearing white. Like, apart from the sumo wrestlers' purple pants, I think everybody else was wearing really boring colours, and there was no, like... Apart from Super Ninja. Apart from Super, Super Ninja, who was red. purple and orange. <laughs> he was But fabulous. again, they're not like bright contrasting colours. They're not like super bright like alcohol pens or anything like that that they could have used to, to like draw it with. They decided to choose really like really subdued versions of the colours. There's like no contrast in them at all. I think it's Which is really weird made. to me. Like, yeah, I think it's cheaply made. I think that might be part of it. But like when it when it's actually being filmed, when Chuck Norris is being filmed He's got a lot more colour. Because <laughs> it's, it's all about the Chuck. Maybe. Yeah. It's Chuck's show. But it's Chuck Norris. Why does he need um, a team? Yeah. <laughs> well, he didn't seem to need the team. Yeah, no, he really did He pretty didn't. much did all of it by himself. Mm. I mean, the kid um, the kid kept getting, getting them all uh, caught. He so, was just too much. Yeah, the Japanese ninja and the kid, they got caught. The sumo wrestler, well, he just ate everything. Um we saw The Apprentice, but he didn't do much. And uh, Pepper just drove stuff. Uh, mm. So Chuck pretty much saved the day on everything. Mm. They do, Everyone else seems fairly redundant. Yeah. Yeah. Even the dolphins. Yeah. It's called <laughs> Deadly Dolphins. And the dolphins didn't really... I mean, they helped them <clears throat> get hey, no. to Sea Lab. Right. So the dolphins, they flip Chuck into the thing which oh, yeah. is vaguely believable but then they flip the sumo wrestler he's like four times as heavy as chuck mm, that's what, true. they did tail flicks i mean what the hell they are deadly dolphins they're that strong <laughs> i did put like at the end with uh angel fish bouncing up which was so bad <laughs> at the yeah, ending, that was weird that was very weird and i literally wrote down careful dolphins rape <laughs> <laughs> yeah and I, I yeah, was slightly true, concerned about them. <laughs> true, uh-huh. true, true, true story. Oh my god! <laughs> hmm. And there were so many one-liners. Yep, one-liner jokes. Yeah, a lot of them. Yeah, I, I would expect a few. Hmm. I mean, it's not just from Chuck. Everybody got one in. It's just, it's just like hmm. there was a point I can't remember where it was or who it was with. I think it was Chuck Norris, but there was a point where the camera legitimately just like panned to his crotch <laughs> and then it moved down and he jumped down. It was like just it's a weirdly uncomfortable crotch shot. It was like on his crotch for like four seconds. Do you think, I didn't notice that. <laughs> Do you think he talks about himself in the third person? <laughs> Chuck Norris is going to eat <laughs> Chuck breakfast. Chuck Norris, make sure you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> Chuck Norris's package is now on the Chuck Norris screen. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, but uh, yeah. So, w- if you could lose any one of his sidekicks, and it wouldn't make any difference to the story, if well, any of them, <laughs> yeah, any of them, pick one. I'm making you pick one. Okay, if uh, I get rid of right, one, scratch that. Who is your least favourite of his sidekicks? <laughs> the kid. Too much. Was, um, yeah, was too, too much. Too, too much. much. It might have been like when I watched it. I watched it quite late at night, but I, I, I didn't really notice the 
psychics at all, really. I think mostly because it really pisses me off that they treated the sumo guy this way, that it would be the sumo guy. Though the fact that he's... Like, so you want to save him? No, I wanna, yeah, I want to get rid of him. <laughs> just go, be free, little sumo. <laughs> but everyone else just seemed like assholes. <laughs> uh, yeah, they, they didn't really get enough screen time, I think, either. I think there was too many people in this show like too many bad guys too many good guys too many dolphins yeah because you there's angelfish and then the big guy that was with her and mm-hmm. then you've got super ninja mm-hmm. and then you've got the claw mm-hmm. you've got four bad guys pick and you've one. got hundreds of henchmen as well it's yeah. just like pick one well, and they, then they're they, the bad guy that episode they're just there for chuck to punch mm-hmm. and they were stereotypically bad guys as well mm-hmm. i mean who'd have thought that super claw didn't trust anybody and was then <laughs> gonna you know backstab everybody and couldn't be trusted i mean i never saw that coming mm-hmm. so yeah. <clears throat> that was a short cop also point. how do all of the henchmen know everything about everything <laughs> yeah like when, they, when they tortured like okay they definitely tortured that sailor yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was said, like, I, we're keeping yeah. him for information and then just the next scene it's just like oh we know the information now what did you do with him <laughs> Where is he? I put down, oh man, I didn't get chucked in interrogating that guy, damn it. (laughs) Also, how how did he know where the scientist was being kept? Because previously to Chuck capturing the uh, guy, they were still MRIing him. (laughs) So (laughs) how would he have known where that that was being kept on like the sixth deck or whatever it was, like the below decks? Well, did, you not, did you notice that um, they all swam in there with some very skin tight scuba suits on, mm. Mm. and then uh, then they weren't. Then they were all wearing their outfits, <laughs> yes. which, which is yeah. the sumo guy. That's fine, Tarby. That's fine. He's just wearing a big purple nappy anyway. Mm-hmm. But uh, samurai dude, where yeah. did all that come from? Oh yeah, he wears the full <laughs> getup. Yeah, where time. did that come from? How did he fit that under there? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why. Oh, did you notice? <laughs> what? <laughs> did you notice? So uh, they've captured Dr. Stanford. The bad guys have captured Dr. Stanford. And Chuck and the team are all standing around in a boat or something talking about what they're going to do to save them. Mm. And Reed, so they're all standing around chatting. And then Reed is on an exercise bike pedaling away. Which one's Reed? His He's apprentice. the apprentice. Oh, all oh, right. Okay. Why was he on Wait, was he? I thought yeah. that was the boss. No. Why was he on an exercise bike? Oh, because I wrote down, like, because we get a back shot. Because they said they're talking to the boss, and then it is, it's like a, a back shot of this guy. And I thought that was the boss, no. and you didn't get to ever to see Look, his face. Even if it's the boss, why <laughs> yeah. is he on a boat? It doesn't matter who it is. Why are they on a boat, and why is he on an exercise <laughs> machine? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I, I did write that down. I got a bit confused as to why. Maybe he was the we engine for the face. boat. Hmm? Maybe he was the engine for the boat. Maybe. <laughs> he was cycling and that's what's making the boat go. Oh, so Chuck Norris is environmentally friendly. Yeah. <laughs> that's what this whole Chuck sea, cares. sea lab was about, was the yeah. environmental I did aspects. find it a little bit like they were trying to push for environmentalism, but in a really weird and obscure way. <laughs> so, oh, I didn't get, no, I didn't get, yeah. They've built sea lab as whatever sea lab is. Mm. And yet it has the power to destabilise every ocean on the planet. Yeah. Yeah. flood uh, like kill hundreds of millions do you not think they could have like compartmentalised that a little bit <laughs> maybe not put that awesome amount of power in a mm-hmm. shitty sea lab on the bottom. isn't that against the Geneva Convention <laughs> <laughs> well the United Nations I don't think America ever signed the Geneva Convention <laughs> the United Nations uh, arms list or whatever you're not allowed to manipulate weather and natural disasters but it's a fact that that sea lab mm. can make a tsunami mm-hmm. but chalk Chalk. 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 Uh, Chalk can cause a power surge in the machine on the yeah. sea lab, which then stops the tsunami, which oh, is yeah. miles away. That did make me laugh because yeah. you've got this giant wave and, it, and he turns it off and it just goes boom. Yeah. yeah. It just sloshes back down. I, I don't quite know how that worked. I said that's not physics. So. No, yeah. <laughs> because Chuck Norris will punch it. Well, I bet, is he magic? Is he magic? He's he got magic. <laughs> Is he God, is he? <laughs> yeah. Right, okay. Chuck Norris um, doesn't need to be magic. He just glares at reality. But also, changes. why does the US have a secret facility that fires tsunamis directly at Japan? <laughs> <laughs> and nowhere else. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, it is, it is explicitly said that he's a government operative. <laughs> yeah, he's just Tokyo. <laughs> he said it was going to hit Tokyo in two minutes. <laughs> oh, uh, that, that would explain why the US Navy was lending him the boats. Mm. Could be. Because yeah. he's a government operative. Oh, I get that now. I didn't get that. In no, the, I, I didn't hear yeah. that he was a government operative, apart from the fact he had a boss. 
Yeah. Who was Mr. Boss or whatever his name was. I mean, and McClure, mm-hmm. right, he was asking for a billion. A billion oh, yeah. in the 80s was an enormous amount. Mm-hmm. See, <laughs> yes, it was. could have scrabbled that together. It was, but I immediately wrote down, so give me one-seventh of Jeff Bezos' wealth. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah now. <laughs> Nowadays, yeah. <laughs> but to be fair, he changed his plan halfway through. He was like, we're going to control the world and take over the world with this sea lab. And then he was just like, ah, just give us some money and you can have it back. <laughs> that was, like, you oh, changed yeah, but that's complete. what bad guys were like in the 80s. Yeah, I guess so. He would never have given it back. He would never have given no, it back. Wouldn't. Oh, no. But it reminded me of um, Dr. Evil from Austin Powers. Yes. Mm. One yeah. million dollars, isn't it? Oh. Okay. One billion squillion <laughs> trillion. trillion. There isn't that much money in the world. I want it. Yeah. <laughs> the claw wasn't scary, was he? No. Not really. I didn't. I only triggered that it was the claw because of the intro, and he shows he has a claw. Like you see my claw, love, and that was it. You didn't I, show the claw at all throughout the I love the, the fact that the claw is vain enough that he has blinged out his claw. <laughs> gold claw. <laughs> it's shiny and gold with just jewels and stuff on it. The trouble is, every time anybody mentioned the claw, it just made me think of Jim Carrey and Liar Liar because he was had the claw with his kid, didn't he? It's the claw. See, oh. I. It made me think of Inspector Gadget. Because <laughs> yes. the bad guy is Vegeta is he's the claw and he's got a. It made claw. me think of um, Toy Story, the claw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Every time. Yes. All uh. right. So let's say mm-hmm. we've got far too much money. Yep. And mm. we're going to make a live. We're going to we're going to recast this. Okay. <laughs> so you you can't have Chuck Norris as Chuck Norris. You have to have someone else You've as Chuck Norris. <laughs> Who are we going to cast as Chuck Norris? <laughs> Eddie Redmayne. (laughs) (laughs) Redmayne. I was going to say Jack Black, but Eddie Redmayne's funny. No, Jack Black's the sumo wrestler. (laughs) (laughs) No, I think it should be someone like David Mitchell. (laughs) Someone very British, someone very weedy. (laughs) What, Chuck Norris? (laughs) Yeah, it's Chuck Norris. Just so you've got this pasty guy walking around with his top off. (laughs) (laughs) Or Jack Whitehall. Jack Whitehall, perfect. <laughs> so, any of our international listeners, go look up Jack Whitehall. <laughs> Five out of here. Yeah, go. So we've got mm-hmm. Jack Whitehall as Chuck. Mm-hmm. Who's going to play Pepper? Oh. Well, I think because obviously you know equality and all that, you should flip it. So we have the token man in there, and then all the others are women. So we should have a huge sumo wrestling. I'm okay woman. with that. To be fair, huge sumo mind. wrestling woman, a samurai. Oh, what's her name? She was in the new. She was in the girl Ghostbusters movie. You mean Miss, Melissa McCarthy? Melissa McCarthy. There you go, Melissa McCarthy. What is the sumo? <laughs> the sumo yeah, yeah. That's, that that's that doesn't sound. Yeah, that doesn't sound. Doesn't work, does it? No, really? it's not funny. <laughs> <laughs> um, how about Fat Bastard from the Austin Powers movie? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Not not Mike Myers. Fat no, Bastard. Yeah. Fat oh, bastard. For the sumo. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then the but Sam. The token chick has to be like. Has to be somebody who's like. Mm. She's pretending to be. So somebody really, really thick. Uh, what? Pretend? Or social like kind of. Oh, uh, Paris Hilton. Yeah. <laughs> somebody who's like, oh my God. No, that's it. Gonna bring I'm, my nails. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cast Paris Hilton as Pepper. <laughs> or Lindsay Lohan. No, <laughs> no it's definitely, definitely Paris. <laughs> Right. Um, who else was in it? Uh, Kimo, the sumo war- samurai warrior. Or sumo. Who's that Japanese actor that is really, really famous? Ken Watanabe? Yeah, him. Yeah, because <laughs> why not? Because he's the only Japanese actor. He'd be, he'd be, really be, I think he'd be too badass. <laughs> yeah, I think you should have like the one weird character Ooh, as um, badass. No, he should be uh, Poe's father. Oh. Ken Hong. Ken Hong. Oh. Ken Hong. <laughs> yes. Ken Hong should no, be James the... Hong. James Hong. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> should be the Sarah Warrior. Yes. Really old. <gasps> yeah. And then the claw can be George Takai. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, that's oh, a brilliant idea. Chuck Norris. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> the claw. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Uh, uh, so, Reed, his apprentice, that can be Jack Black. Yeah, Jack so we've Black. Got, we've sure. got to, we have to cast Jack Black in it. Really movie. young Jack Black. <laughs> um, no, really old, grey haired, scruffy beard, Jack. oiled up belly, <laughs> dancing around in his pants. <laughs> Jack Black. And what about too much? Too much. Um, mm. Who is the guy who plays Data in Short Round? <laughs> 
Well, he's, about, he's about 40 now. Yeah, <laughs> that now. Wouldn't yeah. That wouldn't work. <laughs> you get him now to do it. Nick Frost. Let's get Nick Frost <laughs> to, play, play to play too much. <laughs> to play the kid. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very strange recast. I love it. Sure. <laughs> it would be more interesting than this. Yeah, it really definitely. Mm. It's not just Chuck Norris then. <laughs> oh. So in a... Something that's really not unusual in uh, cartoons. Uh, teenage Boy Too Much was played by a woman called Mona Marshall. Yes, mm-hmm. I heard that. Yeah. Already. I knew that was coming. Um, well, she's not listed on IMDb. Is she not? No. Oh. <gasps> um, to coincide with the airing of the show, Kenner, mm. um, who made all the Star Wars merchandising all the toys they uh, made a set of action figures based on the main character of the show there was load they came with loads of accessories mm. uh, like weapons and vehicles there was a uh, there was a car called like the karate corvette yes we saw l- the commercial that's it because I, I said i put the commercial in our group chat so you guys can see it <laughs> that um, was interesting <laughs> they did so they did the um the the, the team Mm-hmm. And they did Super Ninja and some of their the Ninja Warrior bad ninjas, and they were they were planning to make loads more toys, loads more vehicles, um, but they didn't. Possibly yeah. because this got cancelled after five episodes. I would have assumed so. <laughs> um, unsurprisingly, there was a comic. Oh really? Based on it, although I say unsurprisingly, um, four issues it lasted. It was made by Star Comics in 1987, who were an imprint of Marvel. But they were directly aimed at children, younger children. Hmm. It was called the same. Um, for example, like the the very first issue, uh, there too much is school gets invaded by ninjas, <laughs> who are they going to hold everyone hostage until, as far as I can tell, an RV van that's an anti-terrorist weapon <laughs> is delivered to them. <laughs> this sounds fascinating. Why don't they lead with this one? <laughs> oh, so so yeah. So in the comic. Um, Everyone, they get in and they beat everyone up. And, and one of the main, like the last four pages are all to do with the fact that Too Much hadn't done his book report. <laughs> and then it's the whole team like standing around going, Chuck's like, oh, that's a great book. And Tabe, the, the samurai warrior is like, oh, yeah, I, I should. Can I borrow this book? Of course you can. And then we can all talk. Then we can all talk about it around the dinner table tonight. Weirdly enough, that sounds better. Almost as if they're like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as a, like, you know, a team of like a family. <laughs> well, the... <laughs> The book they're actually discussing is called The Children's Story. Mm. Ever heard of that one? That's no, a real by, book. By, yeah, by a chap called James Clavell, who wrote Shogun. Mm. Right, yeah, yeah. Um, but the book itself is about a dystopian future America where children are brainwashed by an authoritarian collectivist dictatorship, hmm. which seems a really odd choice <laughs> <laughs> for them to be pushing. I feel like they ch- they chose the name. In a comic. The... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, somebody picked that name but didn't actually read mm-hmm. the book. Mm-hmm. Well, that's it. That for for merchandising, apart from the toys, I mean, it only lasted five episodes. They never made a movie. There was no video game based on it that I could find. No. So it really was just a flash in the pan. Chuck Norris had this idea, and because it's Chuck Norris, everyone, went, yeah, that'd be great. And yeah, they he, made it, and they went. I mean, he already appealed to kids at that point, didn't he? Yes. Massively. Yeah. I mean, so, like, I don't really know. Apart from the fact for being Chuck Norris, I don't really know, and I guess this, what Chuck Norris was doing. Making movies. So many I know, movies. I guess he made a few movies. Uh, no, 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 no. No, I mean, I, I figured he made a of few movies. movies. <laughs> I, didn't, I have never watched a Chuck Norris movie. And they're very much uh, bargain bin mm. action movies like yeah. Delta Force, and there's lots of ones where he goes back to Vietnam. And... So how did he become God? Is what I because he kicks ass. It's basically <laughs> the same character in every single movie, and it's right. just Chuck Norris chop socking his way around the screen. <laughs> He's Walker Texas Ranger. Walker Texas oh, Ranger. Yeah, I forget about that. God, how did I forget about that? He is Walker Texas Ranger. Yeah, and that was massively popular, wasn't it? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Mm. But that was in the nineties, wasn't it? Um, it might still be going. <laughs> yeah. No, they they've redone it now. I know that. <laughs> Mobility scooter, without, Texas Ranger, <laughs> without Chuck Norris in it. I know because the <gasps> well, the guy from Supernatural is doing it. Right. Yeah. yeah nerd. <laughs> well, I, I'd like Supernatural. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, yeah, he has done a huge body of work, mm-hmm. and he's done lots of um, 
like positive positive things for the kids and he's he's put out uh public service announcements and mm -hmm. he started programs to help kids so he's a he's a great guy mm. it's just a shit can't say <laughs> yeah and I, I i just i don't know how he became so popular like i mean apart from because like bruce lee got popular because he's amazing and the movies he makes were supposedly amazing i don't know i don't really remember watching them but like you know it's the same he's not god it. like how did Ed chuck norris become god oh that's that that was an internet <laughs> thing that's the internet striking yeah but again <laughs> why yeah <laughs> where's chuck norris <laughs> i think because he was in i mean he was in walker texas ranger mm. from 1993 to 2001. Okay, so there's only nice. 200 episodes. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so he was in American households all the time, and it's yeah. cool. It's Chuck Norris. Mm. Eight years is long for an American TV show. Yeah. Yeah, and he's mm. always the same age. Yeah. He's never been young. And he's never <laughs> That's been old. True. It's true. Even in the cartoon, <clears throat> yeah, <laughs> he's managed to look yeah. exactly. I mean, he must be in his, knocking on his 70s by now. Mm. And I guarantee you, he still looks the same. Mm. I don't know. I'll tell you. He was born in 1940. So that makes him. So 60, 70, 80s, 80, 80. Yeah, because it's 2020. Yeah. I yeah, he's, he's 10 years older than my grandfather. I bet he, <laughs> he, he could still kick my, And he could still kick my ass. Yeah. <laughs> he still looks the same. He'll, he'll look the same. Mm -hmm. And then we get, at the end of the episode, we get another little live action bit where yep. Chuck talks about, you know, something, <laughs> some rubbish. Yeah. And that was a big trend in maybe not the live actions, but but you know, having a little moment at the end of the show where mm. they can they can really learn something. Well, it's it's going back over the lesson that we, the whole show yeah. was about. So in this one, it was never give up, even if you have fancy gadgets, a wooden guy for a leader, half of Asia, and some trained dolphins to help save the day. <laughs> but don't don't give up. Don't give up. Even if you have a rubbish day at school, never give up. That's but that's, that's, well, that's, what I mean. a good, that's a good message. That's what I mean by the that whole because that's what you get when you go to karate when you especially yeah, as a kid true. and a motivational. <clears throat> it's all about that whole compass because it's not just about kicking ass. It's about how you feel and that's what you're getting hmm. from this. That's what he's doing in his cartoon. It's true. I mean, whilst they did make merchandise from it, we got to acknowledge the fact that this is a show that I guess wasn't necessarily just a catalyst for making money. Like a lot of the shows. We no, liked. no. I think it was. Well, I think it was a. It was another it was string Chuck to Norris his bow. Doing it, but yeah. yeah, it was another string to his bow. But I think he sort of just saw it as a way of reaching out to the kids because kids like cartoons. Yeah. Yes. Yes. In a bad way. <laughs> they just didn't could do have, it very well. Yeah. Could have been, yeah. Did, did, didn't execute it very well. Another could case have. of doing the wrong thing for the right reason. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> like this podcast. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> so, any more? Anyone else got any trivia on? Chuck no, Norris Karate Commandos? I was looking for the name of the Angel Fish, but I, I just couldn't find it. I feel like it was like some sort of... She, it's, there's nothing on IMDb. No. Apparently James Avery did yeah. some voices in, oh, in some of the episodes, yeah. <laughs> mm. um, and the guy that plays the Super Claw... No, it's not the Super, Super Ninja. Super Ninja. No, the Super Ninja is that other Chinese, Japanese, Asian actor that's in Flipping Everything. <laughs> Kion Young. I, I, I probably, probably said, if I saw a picture of him. Said it wrong. Um, he's in... He's in Men in Black 3 as Mr. Wu. <laughs> <laughs> um, he's, he's done a lot as well. He was in Archer. He's the cannibal he? chief. Yeah. DuckTales. DuckTales. Do -do -do. <laughs> Do -do -do. Not the one we watched. No. He is. Uh, he's in. He's that. He's one of those actors. He's someone that you'd reckon. If you saw him, you'd recognise him. Mm. Yeah. What's his name? James Avery. No. 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 Uh, no that's the other guy. Kyo Young. Young. Kyo Young. How am I spelling? Young. K E one -E. Young. <laughs> what? K E O N E Young. I mean, the man's been in two hundred and forty-five. Oh, he looks. Yeah, he looks familiar. Mm-hmm. And then the guy who plays the claw, um, he did the voice for Harry and Harry from Harry and the Hendersons. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bill Martin, Alan Oppenheimer. So that was that's Chuck Norris, <laughs> Karate Commandos. Pretty much, yeah. Um... It was a bit of a 
Yeah, a, do you a, know what? The... A wet squib, a damp squib. Yeah. It was, it was, the yeah. A, the action wasn't great. The story was your standard fare. Nothing special about that. Mm -hmm. Well, I put, there's only one season. I can't see why, honestly. <laughs> and there's only five episodes. Such a shame. Oh, Cause, sass. Because, you know, <laughs> I could have sat for through another... It was it was quite boring. I would have struggled to watch it again. Yeah. Yeah. I figured. Uh, I mean, it, this is also a really weird episode to start with. Um, I wouldn't have put. It just feels like they didn't establish anything at all. About yeah, the know, that's a good point. Considering this is the first episode of the season of the the whole show. Yeah. I don't know. You pretty much got to. You got the whole story in the in the theme credits. Well, the theme song kind of, but it told you exactly what Chuck was doing, all his mates, everybody, and it would have he's been... always fighting against the claw. I feel like they could have done it a bit better. So it's like Jace that had a full episode that we watched, <laughs> which was literally just the intro, like the the yes, prelude. Yes, it was. In the it book. was uh, the, yeah. The whole episode was a setup for the rest of the series. Mm -hmm. It probably was. This wasn't the first episode. Yeah, the, that's the true. Never got around other to make episodes it. that that this just was. These the five that were finished. Yeah, they probably never even made the first episode. So I take it neither of you would recommend this show to someone with young children as something to watch? Um, not to young children, but probably students who are drunk or high. <laughs> that's usually how we um, yeah, that's usually the way <laughs> recommend the shows I mean, in this. I don't know. <laughs> if I can't sleep at night and it was on TV, I'd watch it as a bit of a laugh. I would definitely, I will, I guarantee you, at some point in the future, so show someone the opening credits to this. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so you need to watch this. Yes. I'm not sure, but I think this might be about Chuck Norris. I do feel, ironically, <laughs> this is the best, that is the only way to watch this show. <laughs> <laughs> well, ironically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we're not going to recommend it. So I want you all to give it a mark out of 10, and mm. then I will take our scores and average them together. Uh, shall I go first? Go for it. Well, I got a for all the reasons I've just said it. It's got three points. I give it a three. It made me laugh when it shouldn't have done. <laughs> it wasn't good. It was quite bland. So I give it a three. Three. Yep. Fair enough. Jeremy. That's pretty low. Me. Yep. Um. Uh. Yeah, it was boring. I mean, to be honest, my eyes were mostly on my notes because I was taking so many. <laughs> And that was that was pretty much it. So I missed quite a lot of stuff that was going on in the show. <laughs> you didn't miss much. No, I, I think it was just the small details. But again, there weren't really that many. So I give it a four. It feels like, okay, because I'm on a D&D train at the moment, it feels like an adventuring party that is really poorly put together. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants to do this one specific thing. But Chuck <laughs> Norris is actually the like the DM's character. And he's the... <laughs> right. Yes, I get it. <laughs> So yeah. you're giving it a four. Yeah. Four. four out of ten. Yeah. Okay. Jennifer. I'm giving it a five. Five? Why are yeah. you giving it so high? That's not high. That's <laughs> average. Five okay, is why? middle of the road. <laughs> I'm not sure it deserves that, but why? It's got <laughs> Chuck <laughs> Norris in it, right? So for a start, that it's Chuck. Chuck Norris is awesome. And it's also got some of my favourite actors and voiceover That's actors true. in it. People that I've never heard of. I mean, <laughs> it wasn't appalling. I didn't, you know... It was a kids' cartoon from the eighties. They, you know, it it seemed very familiar. <laughs> well, that ah. gives it. So, taking our three scores and averaging them together, that gives it a rating of four out of ten. Which, uh, as the currently stands at uh, episode thirteen, that puts it into eleventh place. That's hmm. uh, below Henry's cat, but above Terror Hawks. <laughs> I, I don't think Jennifer's been on the show long enough to acquire the cynicism that is serial viewing's <laughs> view of eighties kids shows. Terror Hawks is better than this, uh, and it scored half a point less. <laughs> It, that's why I'm here. It's when, the episode we watched, I think, with Terror Hawks. This one, I feel like the whole show gets a solid low. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yes, I agree. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there you go. That was Chuck Norris Karate Commandos. If you disagree with us, please defend your position and let us know. Because <laughs> <laughs> what are you? What are you on? Is Chuck Norris your dad? Yeah. <laughs> Has Chuck Norris threatened you? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, this one is. If you would like to watch the episode, this one is quite hard to track down. We had to find it on Vimeo. Vimeo I think it was. Yeah, Vimeo. Um, if you want us to see, if you want the link, let us know, and I'll post it somewhere. Otherwise, have a look on YouTube. Even if you just have a look at clips, it should. There's not a lot to it. I can't imagine the other episodes are going to be any better than this one. No. Um, if you do have any messages for us, you can contact us directly through our website, serialviewing.com. 
there's a contact form on there, as we keep telling you, or in a, uh, you can leave us a voicemail, or you can get in touch via our email, which is just serialviewing at gmail.com, or you can get in touch with us via our Instagram account. Again, serial viewing. I feel like a mint Chuck Norris uh, action figure is now on my wish list with karate <laughs> chop action. They're quite valuable. <laughs> yeah, I <bet. laughs> yeah. I feel like if anybody owns a Chuck Norris, let us know. <laughs> from, from this show. From this show. A specific... Mm-hmm. Oh uh, well, some of the you know that some of the weapons that Chuck uses, or some of the ninjas use, none they, chucks. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. They are <laughs> they are directly represented in the in mm-hmm. the toys. So mm-hmm. there was a one they, they they really tried hard for you know authentic accuracy <laughs> in the toys. <laughs> as hard as you can get. Yeah. So any thoughts? Any last minute thoughts? <laughs> um. Well, no. No, <laughs> this show kind of drained it out of me. We're just gonna, we're just gonna let this one be. Mm-hmm. So, can anyone remember what we are doing next week? Uh, no. <laughs> well, that's me stalling while I look it up because even though I wrote the list. <laughs> <laughs> so next week it's uh, Jennifer's first entry into season two. <laughs> Jen has picked Alf. Oh, we're watching it straight away. We are oh, watching. We're going from Chuck Norris to Alf. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's going to be interesting. It's, yeah, I don't know. I, I really don't know what to say about that. It's, it's going to be a good one. I know Alf. Never seen it. I used to watch it. I mm. love it. I still watch it. It's like if it's on TV, I'll still watch it now. Well, you're going to have to defend it next episode. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Definitely. Any last thoughts before we go? Um. Uh, welcome to season two of Serial Viewing. Woo! Woo! Clap. Yay. All right. Well, thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Jennifer. I've been Henry, and we shall see you next time. Bye! Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris, man of action. Chuck Norris stars in Chuck Norris Karate Commandos. Chuck Norris, he's got nerves of steel and strength to match. But thank you. <laughs> yeah, and also I forgot completely to get the theme song yet. So. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> it's going to be interesting to grab it. <coughs> Hi, YouTube. Chuck Norris is Chuck Norris in Chuck Norris. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think anyone calls him Charles? <laughs> I wonder, was he Christian Shecky. Charles? I bet he was. Or is Chuck Norris like his... Stage name. Charlie oh. Nozza. <laughs> <laughs> it's really about Char- Char- Charlie Wachowski or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nudo Saki. Yes. So welcome to the after show. Because his real name is Carlos Ray. <laughs> oh, oh, how have we not mentioned the last show? show? <laughs> Carlos oh. Ray is Carlos Ray. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, oh you're yeah. amazing. Carlos Ray, Chuck Norris. Oh, no, that's his full name. Well, um, so Chuck Ray. is a nickname. So he's I think Carly, he's Carlos Ryan. Ryan. Hang on, Carlos Norris. Let's that's a, a bad name. <laughs> yeah, Carlos Ray. Um, How many names has he got? <laughs> Carlos Ray. Carlos Ray Norris. Oh, in Ryan, Oklahoma. Oh. So Chuck's like his. Who is Republican? Oh, you surprise me. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. It's like Ted Nugent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he's insane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Carlos Ray Chuck Norris. So welcome to the after show. This is just for just for you. Living in America, Henry, did you know anyone called Chuck? Yes. <laughs> I just know Buster as well. Buster? Yeah. Buster and Chuck. And a hickey. <laughs> I used to know someone called Hickey. Yeah, Hickey. <laughs> Fantastic. Let yeah. us know in the comment section below how many Chucks you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got Cherokee roots. Yeah. I did know that. Yeah, I figured. Doesn't everybody? <laughs> uh, I don't. <laughs> They're all like one percent. So how was your um? How was your first episode? Mm. Tell tell YouTube how your first episode was. It was okay. <laughs> what are you going to do when Jeremy's not in the room with us and you have to talk to him? Because you spent every time you spoke to him, you were looking over there. Oh, at I was like looking at you. <laughs> no, you yes, I was. I was looking at you. It could be passed off. And also, but now everybody knows. yeah, if you'd have looked. <laughs> If you, when you look on the camera, it looks like I'm looking at you, you nerd. It does a little bit. That's because I'm amazing. Oh, God. <laughs> right, so we'll do this quite quickly. 
Uh, new back of the box cards have uh, arrived soon. Uh, they will be arriving soon, <laughs> and I will finally sort out the uh, the page on the website because we had some slight technical issues on there. You mm-hmm. may have noticed that uh, at the time of recording, uh, at least three or four of the episodes are missing. <laughs> but Jeremy's been hard at work, so we're going to redo all those, and, and then, then we're going up soon. Forgetting things, and yeah. <laughs> so four categories. The categories haven't changed. Uh, we're going to rate the theme tune in the credits the opening credits slightly different way of doing it we're all going to give it a mark out of 100 and then i'll average that out to give it its rating Mm -hmm. so for the theme tune and opening credits how much did you give them you should go first it's your first time it's your first card 40 out of 100 40 why a 40 it's a bit weird doing um they were a bit formulaic um, every other word was Chuck Norris. Hmm. Um, it pretty much outlined the whole show. <laughs> but I can imagine... I mean, okay, yeah, there's only five episodes, but if you were watching all 65 episodes, if they ever got made, that whole thing would have gone oh, over have and over mm-hmm. and over. Yeah, that would have been awful. It would have just too much. Um, Double bill of that, Chuck Norris. Next. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and it did that typical 80s thing where it's some guy like narrating over the top of it. Mm-hmm. Chuck well, Norris is Chuck Norris in the Karate Karambos. Karum- Chuck Norris, Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. With Pepper and Chuck, Chuck Norris. Norris. <laughs> mm-hmm. But Pepper likes to be known as Chuck Norris. Yeah. <laughs> so it gets 40. 40. All right. 40 out of 100. I mean, it weren't, it weren't abysmal. It told me exactly what I needed to know about the cartoon. Um, I can't remember how the tune went. Well, it that, wasn't very... That rolls into why... I, I've given it 38. Right. And that kind of rolls into why I only gave it 38, because it's it's only got 38 points because it is so funny. <laughs> it just... Chuck <laughs> Norris is Chuck Norris it, it wearing funny, Chuck yeah. Norris's pants, Mrs. Chuck Norris. And it was just... I couldn't tell you anything else about the music. Mm. <laughs> I couldn't tell you what the, it sounded like. You could play it to me now and I wouldn't have a clue. Yep. And it was just Chuck Norris is being Chuck Norris. That's it. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's only got 38 points because I found it very funny. Awful mm-hmm. and funny. From me, I rated even lower being a musician. And I don't <laughs> I don't view the Chuck Norris bit as part of the theme. Like, if you removed the, him saying Chuck Norris, then I would... I, I, the song is the most generic, crappy song. I think that's why they put Chuck Norris over it so many times. Because <laughs> it's so bad. Um, well, it's just not bad. It's just so bland. There's nothing in it. So I'm giving it a 22. 22? Yeah, it's so, low for me. So you're saying it, it kind of matches... What is your Gummidge theme song was better than this? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Bloody <laughs> hell. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's harsh. The Chuck Norris only brings it up to the 22. Well, I'm going to round it up ever so slightly, so that gives it a rating of 34. Yeah. Which isn't... That isn't bad, actually. Pretty bad. <laughs> bad. Yeah, well, I suppose we're, we're on a different metric now. That's a 3.4 out of 10. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll start with you this time, Jeremy, since you finished the last one. Okay. Educational What's... value. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, I only recently got that it was actually supposed to be this sort of educational thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I appreciate what he was trying to go for with it. I don't feel there was any sort of hidden message. I mean, I think there was, but it's really obscured by dolphins and tsunamis and 60s miniskirts. Yeah, I suppose they were trying to... (laughs) Mm -hmm. Yeah, all the education was at the beginning at the end. Yep. It didn't really... They had a midsection where, like, between each commercial break, he said, don't worry, like, find out what happens soon. Like, you know, we're going to be fine. Are we going to keep going or are we going to, you know... Or I don't know because they had to keep... It's like there would be there was a couple of times where most people, like you would have said, would have given up and gone home, but they didn't. They kept going and they kept fighting against the bad guys. So and the message was don't it give would up. Have been and if I got that. <laughs> short show of the game. <laughs> so yeah, I guess so. I'm not going to influence. I'm not going to influence your. Uh... I appreciate the fact that he was in like a karate star lesson, so that was kind of cool. Um, mm. So I'll give this a. Uh, out of 100 now. Yep. Uh, 43. 43. Yeah. <laughs> Jennifer. Um, 55. 55. Defend that 55. Well, because 
I learned never give up. I got that <laughs> message all the way through. Did you, did you not know that before? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Chuck. I got that message all the way through. But yeah, I Life liked lessons. the fact that he talked at the beginning and then he talked at the end and he, they went over the lesson and the motivational speech. And um, so I got that. I got that it just, it wasn't particularly well ex- executed no. in between the two bits. So what did I say? 53? 53. Yeah, so no. 53. 55. 55. Did I say 50? Yes. Uh, whatever. <laughs> well, I'm giving it a 60, mm-hmm. which is the highest rating I've given anything for educational because this is the first... Why? Well, I... I think this is the first time we've had a really obvious... It was a bit more obvious than DuckTales. Yeah, well, du- yeah, DuckTales was quite subtle, but this was really in your face. This is what I'm going to teach you. Mm. This is what I have taught you. And we've got a little... And it made me laugh. Okay. <laughs> Life Lessons with Chuck Norris taught yes. by Chuck Norris <clears throat> which, Yes <laughs> Written by Chuck Norris <laughs> so Executive we, producer Chuck Norris That gives it a 53 <laughs> mm. Which I think I'm going to have to double check But I think that might be the highest we've had I think DuckTales got a 40 Yeah so, mm. Weirdness yeah. So this can be Whether you ju- This could be what the well, If we're on YouTube What the fuck moments Or Just what or anything, however you want to quantify that, the weirdness. And Me? You, yes, you. Um, I didn't find it very weird at all. No, it wasn't. <laughs> there were a couple of really moments in it. Like, <laughs> I had to dispel disbelief a couple of times, but to be honest, weirdness, you're probably looking at only a 10. A 10? A 10 for weirdness. That it seems... wasn't weird. It was very common guard and mod- modern. Um <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I gave it a 15 because... Do you know what? I gave it a 15 just because I got it into my head that the uh, the guys on the submarine, the evil guys, were going to work and they're walking in, sitting down at that workstation and then rolling their eyes at each other as their boss is coming dressed in these weird outfits. <laughs> oh, they're here. Look what they're doing it again. Mm-hmm. So 15 from me. There wasn't anything particularly weird about it. It was what it was. Um, I, There were some weird moments in it, like... Like the the dumb moments, I guess. Like, so, like similar, really, um, moments like the tsunami, like Super Ninja sucked. Like um, <laughs> Super Ninja did suck. <laughs> well, Super Ninja as a whole, the fact that all the characters, um, the dolphins, uh, <laughs> deadly dolphins, deadly dolphins. Even though no dolphins. one died. No, no, um, and also the fact that. The US is, you know, pointing tsunamis at Japan. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I, I give it, I give it a. It's not that weird though. Like thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yeah, well, that's quite high compared to what we gave it. Yeah, yeah. but I, 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 uh, averaged out, it won't be. No, that gives it a, a whopping seventeen <laughs> for weirdness, mm-hmm. which I think is quite fair because <laughs> it wasn't. Yeah, it's not dead. It's overly weird, but it had yeah, like you say, it had it had the odd one or two weird moments, but it was pretty mundane. Mm-hmm. So for Jennifer's benefit, the last category is impact, awesomeness, and mm-hmm. it's however you want to define that. So it's whether how much you enjoyed it, how much you thought it had an effect on the world. Yeah, cultural impact. Cultural impact is how it's however you want to define it. But mm-hmm. I gave it a seven. Out of hundreds, because <laughs> it had <laughs> I'd never heard of it before. <laughs> yeah, um, it Five had zero episodes. impact on me apart from the opening credits, which I would play to other people. It's a fairly pointless show. Five S- episodes, seven, yeah, and I can't even justify the seven really. A single toy line, yeah. <laughs> Bad opening theme, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I wasn't surprised that to find that Chuck Norris had a cartoon kind of made sense but mm-hmm. so seven from me jeremy not far off i'll double the difference in 14 you go 14 yeah i mean for no good reason <laughs> for no good reason just, well, just <laughs> yeah. not a great show really. yeah just yeah it's, it's chuck norris i guess I and mean, he's pretty impactful i mean i had chuck you. norris <laughs> nine times <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah so 14, can you, where are you going to sit between myself and Jeremy? Well, yeah, I was going with a 10. A 10? A 10, mm-hmm. yeah. That's... The only impact I can see with it is the fact that it is Chuck. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, with his shirt it, off. It's Chuck Norris with his shirt off. 
animated Chuck Norris. Yeah. <laughs> so for... I, got, I got to see a bit of chest hair at the beginning. <laughs> so that's that's a that's a whopping eleven impact <laughs> rating. I think that might possibly be the lowest impact rating we've had. Yeah. I hope so. Because I think even um, Words or Gummage did better than that. Because, well, yeah, because when because you... it was so yeah. pre- prevalent yeah. in so many people's childhood, which is really weird. <laughs> so, Look, that's all we had to watch then. <laughs> that was mentioned several times, <laughs> so we got a trapped audience. Yeah, that's not a good thing. No. <laughs> so there you go. That was Chuck Norris Karate Commandos. Um, we never have to talk about it again. Yeah, we do. We have to show people, <laughs> enlighten yeah, we, people. We don't have to. We probably will. Yeah. So Alf, we're watching Alf next week. Yep. Why did you pick Alf? Because it's an excellent kids TV it's show. Excellent. All I remember is that he likes to eat cats. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, the He's like a cool alien. Is He's he? very. He was I think very, he was a bit of an asshole as well. If I remember correctly. He was very. Correctly. Yeah, he was very late eighties, early nineties mm-hmm. sassy. Mm-hmm. Cheeky. Mm, I figured that Alf was, I mean, because, you know, growing up in Britain, I figured he would be the American answer to Basil Brush. <laughs> yeah, that, that works. That is actually quite a good yeah, observation, that works. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the difference with Alf, though, is that it's you've got this, what it what it is, is this really mundane, typical family sitcom. I mean, mm. even when you listen to the theme tune, it is, a th- and then they whack in some sassy asshole alien. Mm. That eats cats. Amazing. Um, <laughs> so yeah, Basil Brush definitely. That is a uh, definitely a good comparison. Or it reminds me a bit of um, oh, what was that disgusting alien that was on the Big Breakfast? Um, oh, Sid had snot. had snot and was it Sid? I don't think it was Sid. Yeah, he had runny noses and everything. Yeah, but he wasn't called Sid. Oh. Mm. It's a thing they do a lot in the UK where they have these shows and they put like puppets in them. And they're like yep. really sassy, like sooty and sweet, and um, and uh, what else? Like they did it. In, they do it now with CBBC. They have like all like yeah. the, the monkey in the te- in the PG yeah. Tips advert because they, they think kids will react to yeah. Gilbert the alien. Gilbert, <laughs> that was it. But yeah, I mean, you had you had um, Gordon the Gopher with Philip Gofield. Yeah. Yeah, he was. I mean, it didn't cheeky. talk, but he was a sassy little bastard. Do you remember Emu? <laughs> Emu, yep. He was he, he attacked horrible. He, was atta- <laughs> he attacked physically people. attacked people. Um, but yeah. yeah, I mean, yes. All right, well, check it out. I guarantee you, it's on YouTube somewhere. Do you remember Alf Henry? I do. I do. It was one of those things on that was on. It wasn't really a Saturday morning show, mm. but I remember it being on around me, and it was one of those shows that. I wouldn't have sought out, yeah. but if it was on, I wouldn't turn it off. Well, it's uh, did I mean when did we get it in the UK? Early nineties, yeah, no, mid early to mid, I'd say. Well, nineties, yeah. I would have said uh, early in. Oh no, I reckon it's earlier than that. Oh, we'll find out. Yeah. Probably, I'll look but, it up. I mean, we I would have been a teenager, so it would have been on. It would have been like a, a Saturday night, but it was American. Yes, back in the back in the late eighties, early nineties, and an American TV show was cool for us because and we had bloody we, Last of the Summer Home. So we had some weird, boring <laughs> ass sixties. And we only had four channels. So. British TV. <laughs> what are you going to do? Yes, actually, we have. In fact, that's probably what it was on. It was probably on Channel Four. Yeah, I'm just aware that Alf was a thing. Um, it was I, huge. I never thought it, I needed it in my life. I remember right. watching it as adverts on like on videos beforehand. There would be like an advert for Alf, and then you get to the actual thing, and like uh, I think it was it was on uh, something well, like Wallace well, and Gromit. We'll discuss it more <laughs> on the next episode. If you're a fan of Alf, let mm. us know. In the many ways I've already said, you can contact us. Mm-hmm. Um, if you didn't like Alf. Alf also let us know. Um, you can probably find it on YouTube. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, anyone else got anything? Tell everybody about Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. Chuck Norris. <laughs> Tell your friends. Mm-hmm. Listen to us. Uh, like and subscribe. Yes. I love saying that. It makes me feel like a proper YouTuber. <laughs> Soon. Soon. All right. Thanks, guys. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Bye. Chuck Norris. Bye. Chuck, Chuck Norris. Norris. Chuck Norris. <laughs>